Greetings. I'm having my afternoon snack. Didn't have my morning snack because it's Friday. I've been snacking on my uh, cinnamon hearts. Not a lot though, I think. Some people's kids don't like going home. I think that's what it is. I don't like kids like that. Kids never did that. This freaks me out. I wouldn't let my kid do that. That's the thing. Anyway, I had a. I grabbed, you know, the odd, you know, two or three together a few times, but it started giving me a stomach ache or pain in my stomach, so I stopped. So those are going back in the. Uh, package and my husband can have them. Is that a good day in interviews? Ups and downs. I had two people who I thought were realistic about their levels and would know that they weren't moving, thinking that they were actually moving to another class. Uh, I don't think so. So, with the one, I'm going to take the suggestion of the teacher next to me. I'm going to sit her down and say, here, these are your results. This is why you're not moving. You know, you're, you're not at the level yet. Until you get there, I can't honestly move you. She says, you have to do that. You have to have something in your reserve that you haven't given back to them. And that proves your point. But yeah, okay. I have it. Don't think that they're realistic, they're not. This is the woman who feeds me chocolates. Don't think that they're feeding you chocolates because of the, out of the goodness of their heart. They're feeding you chocolates to bribe you. I'm not bribable. You're at the level that I tell you you're at, and if you're not at that level, I'm not going to put you to that level. No bribery here. Chocolates or otherwise. I don't know if she's bribing me or not, but trying to bribe me, probably not. But seeing the fact that there was actual disappointment on her face, that she thought that somehow her awful English was going to get her somewhere where it was even harder. Yeah, really. Get real. And on that note, I'm going to go back to working on my rubric because I've got an hour of nothing. Done for the day. It was snowing big flakes. Now it's going down to snowing small flakes, which means it's getting colder and colder. And it's windy and it's yuck. My boots are in the car, but my car is parked close, so it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah, not nice. What do I look like today? Yeah. So I have a quick doctor's appointment when I get home. So this is the first time I'm going to see him since I kicked that wall. 
Do I have that picture on my phone? I don't think so anymore. That would have been useful to keep. Here, look how purple it was. Maybe I can dig it out. Unpleasantly purple. It hurt. It still hurts a little. So before Christmas, it still hurts a little in the middle of February. Hmm. See what he says. See what he says. What else have I got going? I think I'm going to get something for that table in the living room. I think I'm going to try and get some more clothing. There's a big sale on at Tommy Hilfiger. Go to that. What else? Something else on my list in my pocket. Kids don't like going home from daycare. They don't like going to daycare, then they enjoy themselves some when they're there, and then they don't want to go home. That's what it seems like sometimes. Although they seem pretty cheerful when they arrive there. It must always just be one bad apple. Yeah. So Stephanie had issues with some of her students. So we sort of came together at the end of uh, the session in the morning, and uh, were four teachers on the on the same floor. And Stephanie was coming like <laughs> like she needed a hug. She had bad, bad incident with her students. A couple from Iraq who just think that she's an awful teacher and that she's discriminating against them. And I actually, you know, that I, I heard them, I heard their comment about her, so I could back Stephanie up on her trouble with them today. Turn your car off. Somebody's car alarm is going. Yeah, so I'm going to, she's sending, she sent an email to Janet saying, hey, I had trouble with these people. It makes me very uncomfortable to be in the same class with them. They're still in her class because she didn't move them, which is why they were bitching. And then she said, can I, can I mention what you said to me about that, what they said yesterday? I said, of course, of course you can. Absolutely, I'll back you up entirely. It's really unfortunate because these people were wonderful students when they were in my class. No, they weren't unhappy, they weren't unpleasant. So the discrimination comments, well, you know what? They go both ways. Who's discriminating here? Certainly, Stephanie doesn't even know how to discriminate. And uh, no, she's not Chinese. She's Canadian. She was born just the same as I am. Just because she doesn't look like me doesn't mean she wasn't born here. Because I was born here and she was born here. And uh, why would you say that? Why would you say that? These people are not reacting very well to her, that's for sure. So, you know, if they want to drop back to my class, okay, fine, you can come to my class. <laughs> I'm not going to kick them out. I take everybody. If they want to come back to level two, they can come back to level two. But know that I don't take any flack. I don't take any shit. I don't take any stuff. I have learned how to be a tough teacher. I'm not a mean teacher, but I'm a tough teacher. You can only push me so far. Stephanie is a softie. Still. She's young. Anyway, I'm going to get to work. Talk for now.